Moving on to the final in terms of images and so forth is this slide here. A great slide for some kind of outro. And what I did here was I just used my Canva hack. What I did is I went over to Canva. I created a design that is 1080 by 1920, as you can see here. I set it up and I just went down and I added icons. So I go to elements. I can search something like conversation or actually let's do like. And you can see I get a lot of options. I could just grab it and drag it over. Then I could edit it to my branding. So this is the branding for, branding for my company. You know, I could even change it into colors like so. And what I did is I created the first slide that had all of the images, okay? So I set it up like this. And then I just kept hitting duplicate and then I would remove one item and reorder to suit. And then what I get is the effect of one item, two items, three items, four items, and it's going to create some kind of animated effect without all of the need to make adjustments in PowerPoint. Then I'm going to download. I'm gonna to choose to download in PNG. Click download and it's going to download in a zip file. Once it is downloaded in a zip file, you can unzip it, delete the zip, and then have your folder with all of the items in it. And then what I would do is drag and drop these items from bottom to top, but it doesn't matter because you have the selection pane. So if I go over here to selection pane, I can actually hide items. So if I hide item one, if I hide item two, and I hide item three, then I see these and then I can actually reorganize them. So let's say I wanted to move item four up to the top. And now that I want to unhide these, well, you're still going to see it. And that's because it's not, it's this item with everything on it. So what I need to do is drag that back down. And now I see item one, item two, item three, and item four creating that effect. So now all I need to do is in animation pane or go to animations. I need to create effects. So in this case, what I do is rather than add the items, and I guess you could add the items by reversing the order, but what I'm doing is just having them disappear. And I'm just going to time them in such a way so they disappear in sort of a flow. So the first item I have disappearing in 0.75, second item in 1.50, third item in 2.25, and the fourth item in 3.0, just under that 3.5 seconds that I know that I have. Let's go ahead and preview. Let's drop the volume on this one. Perfect, so you can see that. 